Rayco, the market leader in electrical boxes, offers an extensive line of specialty boxes with brackets and other innovative features that allow for fast, easy installation in challenging spots or other special situations. On today's Hubble How To, I'll be going over the Rayco 297. It's a 4 inch round, half inch deep metal pan box. It includes a unique, patented bracket feature that makes it an ideal solution when there's little to no wall or ceiling cavity. The 297 is UL listed. It has four half inch knockouts, a ground screw, and standard 832 fixture mounting screws spaced three and a half inches apart. Before I run through the simple installation, let me point out a few situations where the 297 will alleviate headaches and save you time and money. Of course, make sure the power is off at the breaker before starting any electrical work. Has this ever happened to you? You're cutting in a new electrical box, and when you finish the hole, you discover a hidden obstruction. Here, we have a vent pipe. Or maybe it's a gas, water, or sewer pipe. Or even worse, maybe the entire cavity is filled with an air duct. Well, this isn't an issue with the 297 old work pan. I simply loosen the wing nut, leaving the protective sleeve covering the threads, feed the wiring and fitting into the box through one of the half-inch knockout openings, and slide the box in place so the bracket grips the drywall as you tighten the wing nut. Rotate the pan box to the preferred orientation. Finish tightening the wing nut and if necessary push the protective sleeve back down to cover the threads. I'm using Rayco's Insider so I can install my cable connector after the box is in place. And that's all there is to it. The box is now ready to finish wiring and mounting the light fixture. Another great benefit of the 297 is when you have prior knowledge of an obstruction or a tight fitting spot. Now you have the option of positioning the pan box exactly where you want it, not sacrificing the ideal location due to an impediment. Another example would be mounting a light underneath the eaves here. Typically I'd need to know the exact rafter location so I can either avoid them or use them to mount an electrical box. With the Rayco 297, I have the ease and flexibility to mount the box almost anywhere along the soffit board. Using a 4 and 8 inch hole saw, I simply cut my hole in the preferred location. As you can see from this cutaway view, the 297 fits in nicely and without any issues with the rafters. So for your next retrofit, use the 297 pan box for a convenient and quick install, especially when clearance in the wall might be limited. And remember, for any of your commercial, industrial, or residential electrical projects, look to Rayco for proven and trusted solutions.